All right. No, it's not a cop out because sometimes you just can't add anything more to your damn yes. list. Yes. But but reading books, man, is so much. So I, I've been thinking about the audio books. It's better than nothing. Yeah. I think. It's it's all about uh in my in my mind what I'm doing is I'm exercising that creativity piece of my brain cuz I read a lot of fiction books. Okay. So I'm constantly in nonfiction throughout my whole life. I'm saying right? non nonfiction is the truth or yeah. or the, like textbook type right, stuff. Gotcha. Like I watch documentaries, I listen to podcasts and it's all very factual based. I like so it. So when though. I get into a book, mm-hmm. I'm like I just want to go into like a movie. Really? Yeah. So it, it exercises more of the creativity in in my brain. I guess I don't want that. Um, but that, <laughs> that, that, that doesn't mean that it's for everybody. <laughs> you know, that's just what it does for me. So what's up, everybody? Hey, we're talking about reading books or not reading books. Yeah, this is Ron Jordan. <laughs> and Aaron Diaz. And we're coming at you again for another week. Yeah, the yeah. Stars podcast. Yeah, good times. Absolutely. Yeah, so we reached uh, over, I think it was over 400 downloads last week. Bro. Which is exciting. This is crazy. Small milestones. This is, this is it. But, but I think we're, we're, we're slowly building a foundation, which is oh, like yeah. super cool. Oh, yeah. You know, it's, it's just like, we're really doing this, bro. I know. It's fun. It's fun to get together and kind of shoot the shit and uh, you know, enjoy what uh, other, other people are saying about it. You know, I get it comments coming back to me hey love the podcast this week great job guys you know things like that your wife's calling we're recording <laughs> do you have a lid for this ron i don't know i need a lid for this pot <laughs> i don't have a lid for the pot okay all right love you I'm making vegetable soup here <laughs> love you bone broth soup bone broth vegetable soup we're doing a bone broth yes with so we're doing the the bones in the pressure cooker man that thing that pressure cooker is unbelievable i was listening to a chef talk about the pressure cooker and it's pretty magical it's it's like a magic magic wand he was equally impressed but he didn't feel as though that you got the exact same type of outcome in a pressure cooker that you do like let's say in a dutch oven in the in the oven for an extended period of time he goes the time that you put into something mm-hmm. increases the flavor profile but i he could goes, see that but he said so a dutch oven a great close second it's not when you farting in a blanket and that is a dutch oven oh that's second definition <laughs> the first definition is uh is like a baking pan with baking pan is it a pan is it a pan no one of them cast iron pots is I that would, a Dutch I would oven? classify it as a pot. <laughs> I think ours is metal. <laughs> it's, it's yeah, cast iron. Cast iron. Mm-hmm. It's a heavy son of a gun. Oh my god! I I backpacked a cast iron skillet one time. Why? It was a short trip, <laughs> and I wanted to make deer steaks in the woods on a cast iron, you know, on a fire instead of an open fire pit or something. Yeah, yeah. We we backpacked in. I don't know. It was like three miles. But, Careful. But, but this freaking, is coming from a guy that does 50 Ks. This was before I was doing 50 Ks or anything. So that was back was when you super winded. You probably only needed to do three miles to survive. It could have been death at the other end of that thing. But um, but even the three miles that packing that thing in, this sucker's heavy. I mean, it was a big one. I'd probably say a 12 inch pan, cast iron. But yeah. So, like, wh- what do you think about my idea of trying to, like, cut these snippets? We'd like to build some more traffic. So Yeah, we- I like the idea of, of doing the snippets again. I got away from it just because of time consumption. Yeah. Again, adding something else. Yeah, because um, work, work picks up right now for us. Wow. This is really our, our busy time of season. We have a busy time in the spring and then a busy time in the fall. Um, everything in between is still busy it's just not uh balls to the wall yeah so right now it's like it's been like that since about september this is why we need an intern (laughs) yeah that'd be nice (laughs) uh just shoot over the the media files and say clip it up yeah that'd be fun like this is why production companies do so well well yeah you just give them the the media yeah do everything we're just a content creator (laughs) which and i guess we're okay at it yeah but 
the other hats that you have to wear to get it out to the masses is like it's exhausting. On top of the husband, the father, the yeah, you, know. <laughs> you want to grow this, right? Yeah, right. So we're talking about growing this audience and, mm-hmm. and things like that, um, and the the amount of hours that you have to put in to grow something, you got to take that into consideration. Right? Yeah, it's just like building a business. This is true. You know, you gotta you gotta be all scaling in. it. You gotta scaling be all it. in, right? Just like any other business, you gotta be all in. Yeah. Now you can. This is how I attack college too. Is you just go all in for like the first couple weeks, mm-hmm. and then you let it let it ride out, and then you go all in during midterms, and then you let it ride out. It's like you have these seasons of where you really have to build, yeah, and devote a lot of energy and attention to it, and then let it trickle. Yeah. And then build and then let it trickle. Yeah. That's a, that's something that at least has worked pretty spectacularly for yeah, me. Or, or like eating a big meal. Let's say you have a huge meal on in yeah. breakfast and then throughout the day you just like eat chewing off of that. Yeah. You like don't need bodies. to continue to eat that right. big meal because yeah. it's exhausting and mm-hmm. it's it, and you can't. Uh, what do you call it? Um, where you have longevity in something. It's not sustainable. Sustainable. Right? Good word. Yeah, you can't be sustainable. 50 cent word. Sustainable. 110% in a. Spell it, Ron. S U S T A I N A B L E. Sustainable. Whoa. We're going to put you. Fifth grade spelling bee champ, son. Get out of my face. And then I went to the spelling bee, the legit spelling bee. Yeah. And I misspelled the word splash. Stop. S P L A C H. Splash. <laughs> you are incorrect. Can I get the nature of origin? And then there was another, the <laughs> next year, I was like, all right, I'm back. I won the spelling bee at the, at our school. And then Fifth you go, grade greatest hits right here. And then you go and you go up against other schools. First round. I get called up. I'm like, this is my redemption year. <laughs> right? <laughs> so you're up on stage. The. I don't, it's it's weird when the lights are on you. Well, it's weird whenever your you're, palms start to sweat. I don't know, <laughs> ten years old, eleven years old. Yeah, and it's just you. Mm-hmm. You know, in the whenever I was playing baseball, it wasn't even though I was a pitcher, I still had my team. Yeah, you know, it was yeah. just me. Like, where's my backup? Yeah, so I'm up there. And they call out the word meadow. Nice. That's a pretty easy one. First rounder in the bag. M E D O W. <laughs> Meadow, <laughs> with like strong emphasis, you were just yeah. like yes, and I started it. like to turn around to go back to my seat. <laughs> <laughs> wrong answer. <laughs> like that is incorrect. <laughs> like it was a mic drop, just boom. Yeah, I'm like, I got this meadow <laughs> first round. Like, make it hard. So, how much got- <laughs> just for you to f- go back and feel that, yeah. and just like how you just lit up just talking about it. That was fifth grade, bro. Like that was, was like a, a really one. that was a memorable moment. <laughs> what is going on in there? No. Glitch in the know. matrix. There is <laughs> <laughs> somebody press forward. He's skipping. <laughs> so just how you know, I like to revisit some of the things that we had talked about that your wife kindly let me know what was going on. So let's go back to this SRU thing and just like put this out because I'm super excited well, about this. They haven't called me back. So well, hopefully they're looking at it again and be like, "Oh, they are interested." Well, their football season is still going on. Like I'm still, I still follow them yeah. on on Facebook and everything. But yeah, I mean they have a lot going on. And really, all it was was like we were talking about having somebody take the video and snip it for us. Yeah. That's, that's really where I got too much of me, not, not for you there. I, I mean, we could put it out there. If there's a high school student or something that wants yeah, to anybody play who around. Wants to, if, if anybody wants to toy around with the, um, the video side of this, if they have a camera, they wanted to do it, um, you know, you can have. Maybe a high school uh, project. I mean, yeah, anything. This if could, you know of anybody, this would be a good good way to get out there. Any YouTubers out there that wants to, you know, come out and help us out? Well, it's not so much the <laughs> like we're obviously able to do a video and put it on YouTube. Uh-huh. It's just if anybody wants to toy around more with the um, like the digital side of it, yeah, editing the the 
the video or adding music or or making a commercial. We can pay you a Mountain Dew. <sighs> How about that? Mountain Dew, Smarties. I don't do Mountain Dew. Come on. No, the the, the, the person that's coming. Yeah, I know, but I don't have any to give them. Oh, so. I'll I'll buy a case of Mountain Dew, like the big 20-ounce bottles, too. Like wow, He's going all out. All out. So if this is Gittles a thing for you. Stoppers. Wow, why not? I have those. Let's have fun with that. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, if it, I would love for somebody to, to make the commercials and things like that. Yeah. Um, that'd be great. Because it's a, it's it takes me a long time to, to make it happen. Yeah, I know it does, and, and and like you said, this is a busy time for you. I think every day is a busy time. So uh, a buddy of mine, he, he, I'll let you know after this is all done. But a buddy of mine asked me. He says, "Hey, can you help me? You know, throw some insulation under my house, bro. It's starting to get cold. So now he's starting to like pull at my strings a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, oh, bro." Like, you really need to make your house warm. He has two little kids, and yeah, I'm in. He was like, oh, well, give me a day. I was like, today. Let's just let's just get it out. Let's just get it done. So I'm gonna, that's why I'm all dressed up, all hood up. You know? I was wondering why you weren't in the, the Sunday church outfit. Yeah. You're going to do some installation. Yeah, I'm going to go do some installation. It's the worst job. I know. Because you... If you're not in those freaking yeah. 3M hazmat suit, I'm gonna take the gloves from your your garage. I think you have a pair in there. You can have you can have the uh, that leather pair. Boom! No, I'll definitely it. hook you up with those. Yeah, because that stuff will get on your oh, it's brutal. hands and your face, and then you wipe your your Don't. face with it. I, I always wear. I I'm ridiculous. I wear a mask and I go to the hardware store and I I get the uh, the white suit and I draw the string in. Really. Oh, yeah. You're like a freaking beehiver. I don't for, mess around with that stuff. That I, stuff is horrible. I fell into it before. What? Listen to this. So my buddies and I, we were, we always have these stupid boxing matches. <laughs> always. So we're doing these boxing matches, and uh, there were no punches in the face. It was all body shots. Yeah. Because we're also the guys who did the BB gun fights <laughs> with one pumps. <laughs> Same guys. So we're... We're in my buddy's attic. He was living in Butler at the time. Real ratty place. But we're up in the attic, and it's all exposed walls. Mm. It's like everybody's sweating, first off. <laughs> yeah. So you let that, just let that sink in. So we're sweating up in the attic, exposed walls. Just imagine. And just shirtless. Just ratty place. Shirtless. Shirtless. <laughs> For sure shirtless. It just makes it all better. Everybody's shirtless, <laughs> <laughs> and we're boxing, uh, bare knuckles, just going after it. Well, I end up, we're we're fighting, and it's not a huge area. I mean, I mean, maybe eight by eight. Yeah. You know, it was like a kind of like the pitch ceiling. Oh yeah. And you're just trying to fight in the middle, so it was like playing in tires. So uh, was was the the floor finished at least, the or were you were on the beams? Like, it was like that would be even better if that would be crazy. Just... <laughs> That's like a movie scene. Yeah. No, the the floor was done. Okay, it was done. It was you know just it was old. Yeah, but it was done. It was wood, and uh, so we're we're up there. We're fighting, and and he hits me, and I trip over my feet, and I fall into the wall, <laughs> and it's exposed fiberglass insulation. Yeah. It doesn't. You don't the, feel it right away. It doesn't have the paper back on it. So when you fall into it, right. You got to get back up. So yeah. you kind of shimmy your way back up and you're just like scratching <laughs> fiberglass into your back. This is what just makes you <laughs> you like the yeah. things of being a kid. Oh. Yeah. So I get that all in my back. We finished the fight and I couldn't even put on a shirt. It oh. was like it was just so bad. So then we had to we had to get all of it out. So I had to dry. Hose. Get, I had to get dried off, uh-huh. and then the, everybody's doing the the tape donuts over me. Ah, tape donuts. But That's was, a good way to get it off. I was just is. thinking of a hose, just freaking. No, no, no hose. That shit. That it is in your skin. I did it one time on a on a um <laughs> a, a flag stick. Yeah, golfing. Threw this flag stick back in the hole. My hand ran down it. I had fiberglass all through my hand. Ah. That one was bad. I had fiberglass in my hand for weeks. I tried the tape donut again. It didn't work. It worked. It got a lot of it off. But Speaking of stupid things awful. as a kid. So 
So my this buddies. This is all off your insulation that you have to yeah, in today. So, Good luck. So, <laughs> <laughs> Best of luck to you. Oh, it's going to be horrible. I got a hoodie on. I think I'll be straight. Um, yeah, but when you take that hoodie off. Done. It's just like. This is an old like hoodie. It's like you take off bloody gloves. <laughs> <laughs> it's a precaution. <laughs> <laughs> and you turn it inside yeah. out and you grab the other end. It's going to be bad. It's a whole thing. <laughs> I'm going to give you gloves. I'm going to un take my garments off before I go into the house because I don't want to bring my into, for my kids to to be. But back to the uh, <laughs> things as a kid. Naked in the backyard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, Alice? <laughs> I was doing insulation today. Get off my back. <laughs> is she sipping her tea? Well, there you go. <laughs> I heard the camera, Alice. I heard it. You didn't even put it on vibrate? You're just going to take the picture? God. This is embarrassing for both of us. Yes. Helicopters. Here he goes. Whoa. <laughs> she's running an old camera, so it's just a blur. Yeah. She doesn't have a refresh rate she's to get got, the whole thing. She's got the VCR one, the, you know, like the big VHS. Yeah, she's got the whole the lighting set up. <laughs> I've been waiting for this moment. <laughs> Crew just pops out of nowhere. <laughs> it's happening. It's happening right now. We're going live. Oh, gosh. He's doing the insulation today. He'll be back. <laughs> He'll be back. All right. All right. Too far down the rabbit hole. Here we are. So so my buddies wanted haircuts. It was actually my, my buddies and my cousins. So we go to bick their heads, right, mm -hmm. with like – and this was old. Like they didn't have the four razors, the Mach 4, Mach yeah. 5. This was just the two – Two chumpies, maybe single freaking blade. Oh, with the yellow handle? Yes. Boom. So I'm shaving their heads, right? God. It just so makes they, me nervous <laughs> thinking about so it. It's, it. They start to dull. So I, I got like the third head in, right? Mm -hmm. You know? And it, it, it's getting little tick marks. And I was like, ah, oh, bro, it's all right. You know what I mean? No problem. Mm -hmm. And uh, they was like, ah. And I said, oh, man, you're bleeding. I said, look, we got to clean this out. <laughs> Alcohol, <laughs> right on his head. Right on his head. He's like, bah. like what kind of like rubbing alcohol? Yes. Oh god. <laughs> so oh said, god. That's the only way you think of clean. It was either that or bleach. You know. So oh I yeah, I definitely bleach, go with the alcohol. Bleach would have been the worst. Um, sure. I could have hit my uncle's cabinet for some maybe vodka tequila. <laughs> that would have been funny. But he's he's just, like, he's just <laughs> burning, running down the street, well, just yeah. like oh my gosh. Why? <laughs> Why he ran out of the barber is... shop. <laughs> he ran out of the barber shop. <laughs> to take the guy on oh, home alone. It was the worst. The worst. Just screaming. I was like, bro, just don't worry. The air will take care of it. <laughs> just blow on it. Oh, things as a kid. Good oh, yeah. times. Good times. So, um, one of the things that I, I've been toying with so i went for my my second degree in taekwondo and i had to to do these board breaks right so i had to do two hand techniques and one foot technique so i'm i'm sitting there and there's like 50 people around you've been to testing before you i don't know if you were there was that there. day okay yeah so as you know i'm going i'm pumped right boom Break one with a with a with a palm strike. Break another one to a ridge hand. Didn't know I was gonna hit that one, but I like curled my thumb over. Had a nice little inside ridge hand. And then I go and turn for a, a a reverse side kick to break this board. Boom, nothing. Get stunned. Like ah, right. So I I think, and I don't know what happened. It, it, I actually enjoyed it because you know we're weirdos. You know. I enjoyed it that I missed it. Mm -hmm. Brings you way back into the moment. Like, look, I'm, I'm human. I'm gonna it fail. It jars you. It did, didn't it? Yeah, and I was I like, oh I my saw gosh. the look on your like, face. It was just like, whoa, I I can hit this all day. Yeah. When the pressure's on, boom, I whiffed. You know, like mm -hmm. this is like the two outs. You know, like two bases loaded. Like I could win the game. Boom, whiff it, three outs, I'm done. Yeah. Like, but, and I did it and, and it hit me. I was like, wow, 
this is it, 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 you, you get so sure of yourself that you're gonna do it and then you get chopped down at the knees you get out of the moment yeah and i was like oh my gosh and then i start to get a little my blood pressure starts to rise and i'm like am i gonna do this am i gonna like break this board immediately doubt yeah done yeah. hits you and I was like, broom, no, no, no matter. I'm just going to freaking just go in. I'm going to take a, a, a second look at it, mm -hmm. third look at it, just make sure I got it, ask for permission to go ahead and finish the board, and I did. Right. And I was like, wow. I said, this right here in a moment, now I got, because I train children. I have kids of my own. It's a bunch of kids out there freaking watching me. Like, this old man couldn't break this dag on board. How can I do it? You know, and now I start taking on the world, I guess. Like, oh, my gosh, these kids see me fail. And then I'm like, no, I, I got to do it. So I'm going to play around with a video on, on, on what to do next. You fail. You got people looking up to you. You don't just sit there and cower in a corner, start crying, getting on emotional. You freaking go back, take a take another stab at it, and break the damn board. Like that was all going <laughs> through my mind, and like eh, I was probably like just a half a second, but I, I I it like went over me like you poured water, you know, like a a bucket came and said, like, here it is, you know. How many people freaking fail? And then they cower in a corner, man. Yeah. Well, that that initial rush of emotion is it's hard to manage. Right. Yeah. That's that part yeah. that you that 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 bucket of water that you're talking about. Mm -hmm. That's that emotion of I just I just didn't do what I thought was going like what happened. Yeah. Wasn't what I thought was going to happen. It was actually the exact opposite of what I wanted to happen. Right. I'm not ready now, for these emotions. Now I got to think in the moment and react in the moment appropriately. Mm -hmm. Right. And how how strong of a goal is that that that's going to dictate my reaction? Yeah. Right. So if it was like, a, I don't know, if you said that. You wanted to make your bed every day. And you woke up today and you missed your bed. Yeah. You know, maybe that's not the biggest thing. Right. You know, but what you're talking about, how I react to making the bed every day versus how I react in the moment to 100 people watching me yeah. do my second degree board break. You know, that goal is, uh, that's a powerful one. Yeah. And well, it, it, yeah. You, you got people, like, people know me. People, like, I have some kind of credibility for, for doing this. Like, I, I've had a, a adult, you know, white belts, students now that are coming through and be like, hey, I seen you do it. I want to do it. Yeah. You know? So now I'm like, man, I'm taking taking all that on. I loved it, though, by the way. I, t I, I, I love the, the fact that I'm able to be that for somebody to just be like hey yeah. he could do it i could do it you know and, and so which you didn't is, sit there and like go up and yell at the board holders or you didn't you know yeah. berate it's somebody. your fault you yeah, moved the board you, you immediately you immediately owned it you took the what we you know as jocko would say extreme ownership mm -hmm. over the situation took a breath count it up again let's do it yeah you know you didn't uh you reacted in a way that you would like to see other people react in a similar situation. And you caught that. You caught it that it hit me, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I watched the whole thing. And uh, you just, you actually kind of, I wish there was a video. The way I remember it is you just kind of stared at the board for a second. <laughs> like, dumbfounded that it's not broken. <laughs> yeah. You're just like looking at it, kind of. And then you turned turned around and I saw the breath happen, and I'm like, okay, he's good. He's good. He'll be fine. Um, but no, it was – I like seeing that stuff. Yeah. I, I like I like watching all of the martial arts um, testing. Yeah. I like watching it, you know, co competitively, mostly because you know what goes into that. Yeah. Like that, that showcase that you put on mm -hmm. is hundreds of hours. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You don't just like go for a couple seminars every other weekend for a couple months and then you end up like that. Right. Um, that Those are hundreds. Yeah. Upon hundreds of hours that have been spent to perfect this this craft. Mm -hmm. um, and for somebody 
to dedicate that type of time to anything, anything at all. Um, it's got to be pretty special to them. Yeah. You know, and those, yeah. those goals that you set out there. Yeah. And then pretty cool. even at those hundreds and hundreds of hours, you can still come up short. Coming up short, bro. You know? Like, yeah. And I don't say it in a, in a negative term to you. Yeah. Um, no. It's just a reality that you could just come up short. You can, you can do everything that you, that you feel necessary to get it done. And you still come up short. The World Series, Nationals and Astros. The the Astros had what the best record in the league the whole year. Like they were a shoe win to win the World Series, right? And here is a team that they came up out of out of nothing. They were um, a wild card team that just came through mm-hmm. and freaking took it for these people that were that they were the shoe win, right? Like I yeah. thought that was cool. We I, love we love underdog stories though. Seriously. And what is it about the underdog knowing you're an underdog? That mentality yeah. of knowing you're an underdog. It, it's because it gives you that as a team, it gives you a common enemy always is the opposition. So that's the first step in that team building process, right? Uh-huh. It's the trust and the common enemy, and that type of thing. But the attitude. That happens on those teams. You know, everybody just kind of steps up into their role in, in in a big way. Yeah, as an underdog. Yeah, I mean, it, the, it, being a that, that's a that's a you have to try harder. Like we, we we're yeah, you feel like you do in a sense. You know, us being older and getting brand new into jujitsu, into taekwondo, into shooting, into self defense, anything. Mm-hmm. You're an underdog, bro. For sure. Like. This this kids that have been doing this since they were thirteen years old, and here you are, and said, you know what? I'm gonna try this. Yeah, I'm thirty, but let's let's go ahead. Let's see what happens. Mm-hmm. You know, like it was later than that for me too. I was, oh my gosh, I think I was thirty. I was forty yeah. when I tr- when I said, hey, I'm gonna start taking a taekwondo. Right. You know, thanks, Chris. Goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, I know what it's. I know. I know what that feels like being the white belt. Because in other avenues of your life, you're you're the man. Yeah. Like you're the senior wearing the Letterman jacket. Yeah. In so many other areas of your life. And then to be like, all right, I'm going to take that off. And we're going to go over here and be an absolute nobody. Nobody. Yeah. Like you don't know anything. Yeah. And, be, and you got to be okay with that. Yeah. You know, and, the, then, and, and, and then dedicate hundreds of hours to this thing that you have no idea. Yeah. It's It's interesting. To to just have the humility to do it, like seeing like it is so cool right now. What we have, I think five adults that just came on into Taekwondo. They're starting at nothing. Like yeah. these people, one's one's a veteran, went overseas. You got people that are that are the man in their business, right? You know, like y- you just got people that have little kids are in it. And then, you know what? But this is the thing. You got little ones looking at you to see how you're going to do. Are you ready for that? Yeah. That's the, like, you have to be ready for that. Like, it, mm-hmm. white belt, I think, seriously, Taekwondo taking on white belt is one of the hardest things in, in, in that realm. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm talking about it in, in this, as in, an, in a hobby. As an, you know, I think to further the point, as an adult, being a white belt, in a class with kids that are maybe half your age. Yes. That are leaps and bounds above you. Yes. That's where I think as from a mindset perspective, it's very interesting. Yeah. Because I go through it every week. Yeah. Not half my age, but kids in that class that I take with the gi on. Yeah. They kill me. Yeah. You know? Yeah. The humility is big yeah if you want to be humble start something like that go into freaking martial arts if you want to see if you're a ceo of a company right yeah. go freaking do a white belt of anything you know any what? martial arts. so you know what my uh Here's I've the been, challenge i've been toying around with this challenge for next mm. year mm. <clears throat> like you need another one no this is the this is like a, a big one get it so everything's been very physical challenging yeah 
You going back to school? No, I already have a master's. I'm not. <laughs> I've already done the professional student thing. It was fun. I learned a lot. I learned how to think. Is is really what it did for me. It challenged me. Yeah, it challenged me. everything that you learn as a, as a kid. College, it will challenge every one of those those ideas. Yeah, it should. If it doesn't, you know, that was my experience at least. Um, so for this next year. Instead of like on top of doing the ultra marathon and things like that, I think I want to take on a new language. Ooh, I think that's the like not fluently Spanish. speak anything. I might do Spanish just because I this is kind of a cop out, but I know some of it. Yeah, but I want to be better at it. How cool! Yeah. Uh, so I think that's gonna I'm with be, you. That's going to be my my white belt situation for next year. That's funny you say that because, oh, my gosh, you got to get out of my head, bro. Sign language. Oh, my God. I have a friend from high school. She does sign language um, professionally. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that is, man, that is a thing. Like, th th those people yeah. are amazing to me. So um, the the church I was attending, he, they they took the, the praise worship songs and, and did it in sign, mm -hmm. and it was it, like I was trying to see what what sign they had for Jesus and the light and stuff. And it's it's really cool. Did you know that there's different languages in sign too? Oh no, I didn't. There's Spanish. They're, they they have like American sign language. Yeah, you know, but they have different languages in in sign language. I didn't know that. Me neither. Like yeah. there was, a, 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 that's pretty neat. So a, a buddy of mine I went to school with, um, his name is Chris Haggerty. Great dude. He was an awesome ball player, <laughs> but he 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 was deaf. You know, not was. I guess he still is. Yeah. But he 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 was. He he sign signed language. all the so time. So you want to learn it sign language? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Sign language, and there's also I'm looking for seminars now because I I, I really want to take on this uh, motivational speaker type deal. I, I want to start speaking to people. Like at you want to practice or you want to no? I want to like go and do events. Yeah. <laughs> like, you, I, I don't know. Like, yeah. What do you just freaking just either a motivational side or hey. You know, a, a small percentage of people made it here or I want to think differently. You know what I mean? That's because I'm really big into Tony Robbins. I'm really big into Eric Thomas. Uh, was it Mia Robbins is another one or Maya Robbins. Mm -hmm. um, there, there's just some really good, good speakers out there that I man, they just I just want to touch everybody, bro. Like, I don't know. I just want to just get it out there and just Let's do whatever I can. Yeah, I like it. Nothing wrong with that at all. Yeah, so I'm looking for seminars to do that. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to take on it. I got a lot, but I'm also, I thought about having a group. Like, you know how they had the Kings of Comedy? Remember? There's a lot of, I know where, I kind of know where you're going. Okay, go ahead. I feel like I know where you're going at <clears> least, <throat> is they have complete panels mm. of these mm -hmm. these traveling shows like that yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah because so, like you bring your fan base they bring their fan base and exactly blah, 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 and it gets bigger and yeah then you, then you can kind of touch everybody it's really similar to what comedians do too. yeah, yeah that's from the kings of comedy yeah so the what steve harvey there was uh cedric the entertainer dl hughley uh, i think his name is witherspoon last name witherspoon he just passed away Funny oh, yeah. yeah. He was on Friday. Yeah. Yes. Every yeah. time I'm in the kitchen, you in the kitchen. Yeah, he was on Rogan the one week with his uh, with his son. Freaking hilarious guy. He that's a that's an old style comedy, man. So um, Red Fox type comedy. Mm -hmm. Do you remember? You know, Red I don't Fox? know. That. All right. Red Fox is it, it, and I'm aging myself. But I uh, remember Sanford and Son. Yeah, that was him. The old man. Oh, okay. I'm coming. I'm coming, Lucy. I'm coming. Yeah. 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 This that is the was, big one. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He was he was a big comedian. He's so gonna do speaking engagement. That's that's cool, man. I've thought about that. I, I really have. You could be part of my group, bro. 
Yeah, I'd be happy to. I just, um, yeah, I'd be happy to. Yeah, I think it'd be pretty neat to just, you know, and and, and I know at first we, we, we would freaking do stuff for free, just like mm-hmm. anything else. Be like, hey, you guys want to get touched by some people? Well, you easy. Know? Not, oh my gosh. God. <laughs> Whoa! You might we touch people for free. Might be uh, might be arrested and shut down before we start. Hey, you want to get touched by people? Whoa! No, I don't. You... <laughs> Not today. Why don't we have anybody? Well, on the sign it said get touched for free, <laughs> and nobody wanted that. Yeah, we missed the mark. <laughs> there, there was uh one. <laughs> So th- 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 it was this YouTube lady I found, of course, uh, that sh- she started talking about how, you know, five steps for getting, you know, to be a motivational, get paid for being a motivational speaker, da 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 da. Yeah. But uh, one of the, the, the norm for that is you just do it. So you put this out there, somebody shows up, she said, you might get nobody. Oh, yeah. And, but you're still going to do it. And this is something that me and Chris, we, we, we've already it's the same taken mentality. that on. Yeah. It was like, hey. We don't care if there's two people. We don't care if there's 500 people. We're still going to show up. We're going to do it. Mm-hmm. You know, and that, that that's always been our thing. And I think that that's why we continue to be, you know, successful as the years Absolutely. go on. Because we're just like, hey, we're just going to go out and do it. You're showing up prepared to make it happen. Yeah. Every prepared? I don't know. But <laughs> you guys are prepared. <laughs> You've just been doing it so long that it's kind of second nature yeah. at this point. But, yeah. It does, it, it does roll off the tongue pretty yeah, well. Yeah. You know. Whenever you're talking about doing speaking engagements and stuff like that, like I, I've, I've thought about this time and time again, is like how do you get, how do you make the biggest impact, right? That's always what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make the biggest impact on on people's lives somehow, in a positive way, but make that impact. And how do you do that? Other than, you know, other than doing the speaking engagements and having people pay to come see you speak or anything like that, yeah. like how do you make it happen? for multiple generations, multiple nationalities, like all of that. Yeah. How do you make that happen? Um, and what <laughs> the craziest part was, um, as I'm thinking about this, I was listening to another podcast about Dolly Parton of all people. Okay. So hear me out. No, I, I hey, I'm not a Dolly Parton hater. I like her. Yes, and that's the thing. Yeah. Everybody loves her. Yeah. It does. You can have people from the whatever community. Right. Whatever nationality, worldwide. Yeah. yeah. They know her. They know her. Yeah. Nobody has anything bad to say about her. Right. But she has got a great message for, for women and empowering women and things mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but how do you... My question is always, how do you get it through your voice in a way that reaches all those people? You know, what's what's your best way to do it? Yeah. Hers was music. Right. And writing, <clears throat> things like that. Like, mm-hmm. What is my best way? Is yeah. it speaking? Is it podcasting? Is it coaching? Yeah. Is it, I, and that's where. Are like, you trying to find that? Is, yeah, that, is so that, like, that where you're at? Yeah. So you have, because I've been toying around with the idea of like being a high school coach or mm-hmm. doing something like that and dedicating some time, not some time, but dedicating myself to that rather than try and speak. Yeah. Like go through youth as opposed to speaking to adults um it's just because if you think about especially you and i because yeah. we didn't have like real close father figures right so a lot of them were coaches teachers relatives yes. things like that yes absolutely um and and they were very impactful right to, to at least for me in my life and it's like okay how many how many kids did that coach impact in a way that they impacted me right and set me on a path you know i don't know i'm just yeah. but yeah i'm trying to figure out like what is the best way to make the biggest impact without being cheesy about it so, uh, so yeah th- this is something that i've been looking at in, in probably the last couple of years <clears throat> like where we stand when chris was here he talked about Okay, so so what can I do? And we can teach people how to brew coffee. You know, we yeah. can teach, you know what I mean? So it came down to 
he said, like he said, he said, I missed those, the, the firearms portion. I missed teaching that because that's, that was his passion. Like my passion is teaching and trying to touch people, not no, I inappropriately. You. Yeah. But impact, but, them. impact them. I like that. That's a better word. Yeah. Let's stop yeah. touching people. Yeah, let's no, impact. Them. No, we're, we're impacting people, but really like that's where I see. So you got to do a little self-awareness. Hey, what am I good at? Mm-hmm. You know, what's what am, am I the person that can talk to a group of people, yeah. regardless of who they are, mm-hmm. you know, or am I the person that can assist the person that could do it? Or am I the person behind the scenes to assist them to yeah. do it? Or am I the driver to get them these people here safely to do it? So yeah. you got to find what is that? What is that thing? What is that that nucleus of you, mm-hmm. you know, to to <clears throat> to make that impact, you know, to to people? So one guy, I won't bring him up, and I hope I don't offend him. He is an excellent instructor to a certain population of people. You know, he can't talk to everyone the same way. He's he, he's he's very focused. He has so much knowledge, but. He can talk to a male generation between, let's say, 25, almost mature, that doesn't that doesn't need to be softly spoken to. Understand? He's that guy. He's that. He's that. Look, look here, asshole. Like this is what this is what it, it is, and I'm gonna impose that will on you. Yeah. And you're just gonna have to accept it. There's gonna be people that won't accept it. You're gonna have to accept it. But. If you get that percentage of people, then he's freaking spot on. Yeah. He will make you a better person in, 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 let's say, in shooting. He'll make you a better person in shooting. But he can't talk to mom that has two kids. Yeah. And you know what I mean? Or I he hear can't you. talk to that. He's the, got one set of narratives. One set of narratives. But he's awesome in that narrative. Yeah. You know, so, but, but, but that's his thing. That's his thing. But, I honestly don't know if he knows that that's his thing. So you have to be aware of what your thing is. Mm-hmm. Like, can you teach kids? Do you have the the the, the, the patience, the humility to teach a child? Yeah. These kids are really tough. They will make the, they will yeah. say things. They will freaking throw you off your square, and then you're like, I don't know where I'm at. I yeah. can't talk to these kids. You know. Mm-hmm. So that can help you and. What you're trying to do. I don't have it all figured out. I'm not saying that I do. No, absolutely. No, I get it. I, I definitely um, I definitely don't either. <clears throat> but it's more one of the... It, for me right now, it's just through action and through osmosis, I hope I impact. Or you're doing it. Yeah. You're doing it. Because because how many people on your post say, man, you're freaking strong. Hey, awesome. You know? Yeah. You could just... them. Reaching and going in and typing because men in, let's say, our genre, we're not just going to type like I'll give you a like, I'll give you a heart. But when I actually type into your message, yeah, now don't read into this because I probably don't type into every single one. But like if I we're not breaking up, it's yes, (laughs) but I I get it. Like you made like I got it, man. Yeah, that was so cool. I'm so impressed with you. I'm going to say awesome job. Bro, you're strong, mm-hmm. crazy motivating, blah, blah, blah. So you're making that impact on people. If it's throwing a picture, showing a medal, hugging your kids, yeah, taking them trick-or-treating, you know, any of those things. That's And like I said in weeks previous, whenever I was talking about uh, posting, reposting, things like that, yeah, I want my page to be motivational. Right. I don't want – I don't – I would rather somebody come to my page and say, I just need a break from all this other mm. BS. Let me get some motivation. Like, let right. me scroll through his feed for a while. Yeah. Like, those are the things that I want to put out there in the universe rather than all of the hardships that I'm going through all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, like, the whiny, all that stuff. It's it just you, – you can only you can only post about suffering so many times before yeah. you get – Tune, tone deaf to it right you know like oh here Even, she goes again or here he goes again right. like, which oh, goes back was to me. your thing too mm-hmm. at the at the gun courses where i think you guys are very you have such an impact as you have so many different people there mm-hmm. not different people that are taking the course but different 
people instructors like yes. different styles yep and and it works because you have different voices telling you the same message absolutely um yeah. instead of having that one person right and this is it right this is all you guys get you mm -hmm. know sorry you spent your money but this is all you get yeah but you have to do that with your own self as well right you have to be able to adapt and change to your environment and to the people mm -hmm. and, and not everybody can right no and i don't think anybody everybody wants to either mm -hmm. you know if you find a niche and, and that's where you're at that's where you're at but um yeah it's, it's it's just something that i've been toying around with and thinking about and i'm sure other people think about it as well like how can i how can i make because everybody's trying to make things better yeah Nobody's tr nobody wakes up during the well no nobody wakes no, up I don't know I have to disagree with you I can't man. I couldn't imagine let me say it that way I couldn't imagine somebody waking up and being like you know what today's the day that I'm gonna make everybody's lives worse yeah <laughs> but no that that is probably a small percentage but how many people do you see on a Monday morning like oh it's Monday. I know Mondays carries too you know, much power. Like seriously, some somebody that my wife listens to, um, they do they do Monday something. Monday carry too, bro. That's a T-shirt. What? Monday carries too much power. Oh, they do. I like it. Way too much power. We're gonna do that. It, they're all just days. Valor printing is coming. By the way, beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. But so so go back to the point of. Monday, like I, I heard one guy said, "All right, universe one, me zero. Yeah, <laughs> and I was like, ah, "Really, man? Like, don't let that bring you down, bro. Yeah. You know how many people get wrapped up in their own freaking life and their own dismal place, and I hate being around those people. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And it, it's just like, bro, it's not that serious." So what I started saying, people are like, oh, it's Monday. And that, this is my rebuttal to that. You can't have Friday without Monday. Nice. You have to go through Monday. You have to go through Tuesday, Wednesday. You love the weekend? Yeah. You're going to have to go through this crap throughout the mm. day to be that. Oh, I can't wait till I get off. You have to go from 8 to 4. Then you're off. So how do you want to do that? How do you want to attack Monday? That's that self-talk. But like, oh, I hate Mondays. Oh, my life is horrible. Oh, I'm I'm a divorcee. Mm -hmm. Or, oh, you know, like, ugh. titles yeah. like that drives me bananas. Yeah. I've been divorced a couple of times. Nobody, I'm never telling anybody mm -hmm. I'm a divorcee. It's all about perspective, too, though. Yeah. That Monday perspective is something. Monday um, has too much power. Shit. Yeah. That's it, bro. <laughs> well, the reason why I'm talking about perspective is for my own sanity today, too is I had an injury last Monday at Jits and like it, it was it felt substantial. Yeah. Like it my elbow popped and it's it's bruised pretty bad and you know, whatever. It hurts. Yeah. It's not it's not anything you can do about it. It right. just hurts. Yep. So I'm sitting not sitting. Well yeah I was sitting. I was driving you hurt or injured. There you go. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure yet. Um <clears throat> but I was I was driving around, um, you know, doing sales calls. I was I was working, and um, it was like it was just really sore, mm -hmm. you know. And and it's it was so so sore to the point that like it hurt to shift an automatic gear shift yeah. like, to push it. Oh. And um, so I'm like, man, I'm like I'm like really getting down, you know, get real irritated because it's archery season two. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, now archery season's done. I got a competition in two weeks for for jujitsu. Like I'm not gonna be able to do that. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah. In my head. Like, Started to worry you. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm like, I get off an exit. This is no lie. No lie, Aaron. I get off the exit to go get gas. And there's like a little sidewalk there for, for people to walk across. Because there was, a, there was a town on this side and then the, the gas station. So they had a sidewalk there. And on the sidewalk, there's a man walking up right where I, I mean, I look to my right to see if anybody's coming. This guy's walking up with no arm. Oh, <laughs> perspective. <laughs> His right arm gone. Gone. My right arm still here. It's just sore. Mm -hmm. Quit your bitching. Seriously. Yeah. Yeah. And then I was just like, all right. Thank Got you. it. Yeah. Understood. Yeah. Get over it. 
Seriously. Go get it, go get it looked at and then get over it. Yeah. You know, and that's where, you know, a, as a perspective on a Monday, it's like, at least you have a month. At least you're going to work. At going least you to work. have legs and arms that you're actually going to yeah. work. You have a brain that works. I was watching this thing on, um, it was called The Brain Explained. Okay. I've, I brought it up before yes. on, on here. It's yeah. a series on Netflix. Well, the one kid, he's got a, uh, an issue where he has, um, I think it's no arms, no legs. So he can't, he can't, or no, he has arms, but he can't use them. Like he's, and he can't use a lot of his facial features either. Mm -hmm. Like it's a whole thing, but he's alive. He's got a full functioning brain. He can do things. He can speak. Um, But he said it was, it was a, it was a degenerative disease. So whenever Mm -hmm. he was younger, he didn't have it fully. And then it progressively got worse. So he was always in a wheelchair and could wheel himself around. And he said, I never would have, I never appreciated being able to wheel myself around in that wheelchair until I lost the ability to do that. Like he, he even understands it, that there are levels to that perspective. Yeah. He goes, I can't even, I can't move without somebody helping me. Yeah. Like I literally can't move. So to, to yell about Mondays and Tuesdays oh, and going to yeah, work. and Right. But that comes from the thing, too, that we talked about is people don't get out of their own bubbles. They don't get out of their own town or that uh, that job, that nine to five. They go home. They get something right. to eat. They drink some beers and then rinse and repeat. Right. Um, it, it's getting new experiences. You is, got to. Is I how think that you, that's the, is how you like that continue there, to right. evolve. Right. Right. Is put you, in put in that new experience you have in, to. in life. Yeah. Even if it's something small. I always say, when was the last it, somebody's like bitching and moaning and yelling about their life? I'm like, when's the last time last time you did something fun? Mm-hmm. Even with my customers, I say, Hey man, you doing anything fun this weekend? You know? Yeah. When's the last time you did something new? Even if it was just go a different way to work. Yeah. Start there. I don't know. Try different music. We always say these small attainable goals, that's how you start. Right. That's how you start shifting the gears for to you know, just have a different outcome daily. And things that like yourself. That brings on spirals of other things. Doesn't so, it? So yeah. So you okay, I wanna go into Taekwondo. You know what? I wanna lose a couple pounds. I wanna gain a couple experiences. I wanna meet new people. Like you want to meet new people, you want to do good things, and you want to sit at home and catch up on freaking Netflix. And try and do it through Instagram. It's, it's Gosh. Come on. Like, jolt yourself up. Stop worrying about everybody else. Go out there and do something freaking different. There's Now, there's, there's really horrible seasons in life. Divorce. Moving. Losing your job. Horrible, horrible seasons. Yeah. Yeah, losing somebody significant to you. Losing, yeah, it's the worst. Yeah. So, like, but what are you gonna do? Sit there and be sorrowful. You know, dust yourself off. Get the hell moving again. Yeah, that's what we always say about my uh, my stepmother when she passed away. <clears throat> was like we were all you know upset and stuff like that. But she was of the mindset and the woman that she was like. What are you guys doing? Yeah. Like, go. Go away. Yeah. Like, stop, stop crying about this. What are, right. This is silly. Yeah. You know? Yeah, you don't forget. Start living for those people that you've lost. Yeah. You know, start living for those kids. I remember after my, uh, mm-hmm. my a, a divorce that I was living in a freaking one-bedroom, like, shanty. And I had to bring my kids to this. You know, the, the oven didn't work. The stove didn't work. Um, I had a little electric heater because there really wasn't a good heat and source in there, you know, and, and I didn't really have anything. The stuff that was in this apartment was the stuff that was left by the person in front of me. My kids are sleeping on a freaking air mattress and it's the air mattress I'm sleeping in the night before until they get there. Right. So I'm like, all right, something's got to change. Right. You know, I, I could just sit here and be like, oh, that's it. Got no money. Got no freaking. My kids are on an air mattress. Maybe next week I'll get a better air mattress. 
maybe next week I'll build them up. Uh, I'll make them a better meal or I'll give them pancakes in the morning that they love so much. You know, I, I, you don't sit there and huddle in a daggone corner. You got to do something else about it. Mm-hmm. Right. You could sit there and let life beat you down in that universe one me zero bullshit. Yeah. Come on, man. You got to do something different. Yeah. Put something else in there. Take 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 another goal. Take another hobby. Get another job. Right. You know, do do whatever. Make that change to make you better. I agree with you, one hundred and ten percent. Yeah, that's it. And sometimes too, I think it's okay to, to cheat the system too. And in a way that I'm saying that is, make goals. Just the habit of making a goal is 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 really the. The purpose of this exercise is mm-hmm. you make a goal, say, I want to brush my teeth this morning. Boom. Yep. So make a goal that you know you're going to crush it. Like you just know that you're going to brush your teeth. Make that goal. I'm going to get to work that you, 10 minutes early. You know, Just do things that you yeah. normally do. Yeah. Just the act of setting, actively setting the goal in your head. I'm going to wake up at seven o'clock. Ooh, I'm 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 digging where you're going with this, man. I like it. You know, what I, I mean? like it. Yes. And then, boom! I accomplished that. Yes. I'm going to work today. Boom! I accomplished that. I'm going to make dinner tonight. Boom! I accomplished that. Yes. Like, once you do that, these small goals that you know you're going to crush, and you just cheat the system a little bit, and then okay, I like it. Cheating the system. Bro. Now I got it. Now yeah. I know. Okay, I know how to set goals. I know that I can do things. Right. Let's step it up and then step it up. That's because what you're talking about, seeing your kids Mm -hmm. and being completely overwhelmed, I don't think that a lot of people make the jump because it's very overwhelming because they've not done these smaller ones. Right. So when life throws you a pretty good curveball, you're whiffing because you've not even hit a fastball yet. Yeah. Yeah. Bro. Bro. Cheat the system. Cheat the system. It's Cheat an hour. In, uh, Let's yeah. sign off. I like it. All right. Where All can right. they find you? All right. GC Recon underscore Valor PDS on IG. And then uh, I also manage the Valor Combat Academy of Meadville. So if you're looking for firearms courses or any self-defense for kids and adults, come out here and see me. Awesome. And you can find me at Ambitious Distractions on Instagram. Um, and thank you very much. Enjoy.